There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, aboran, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. In this video, I'll cover one of the questions from the nuclear chemistry chapter. So what I'll do first is I'll read out the actual question. Then I'll give you about five seconds for you to pause the video. When you've paused the video, try to attempt the question. And then when you're ready, press play and I'll go over the actual answer. So I'll read the question first. It says, there are many benefits and problems associated with the use of radioisotopes in industry and medicine. Evaluate the impact on society of the use of radioisotopes in both industry and medicine. In your answer, give examples of specific radioisotopes, making reference to their chemical properties. And that's worth seven marks. So again, five seconds to pause the video and attempt the question. All right, so I'm back. So for the actual question, make sure you read the question properly first. So it always says evaluate. So evaluate in this case means you need to mention what kind of impact it had, give examples as the actual rest of the question says, give examples of what kind of impact it had. And the end, you should have a concluding statement where you say, has it had overall a positive impact or a negative impact? Are the benefits better than the, the problems, etc. So evaluate is one of those big verbs, which is why it's worth seven marks. So you have to talk about what these radioisotopes do and if the benefits are with the problems associated with the use of radioisotopes. So it says impact the use of radioisotopes in both industry and medicine. Yes, so you have to talk about both of those. And then you also give examples of specific radioisotopes. So you have to have mentioned specific radioisotopes. And ideally, you also make reference to chemical properties. So how do chemical properties allow their uses of those radioisotopes to occur? So what I'll do in this video, I'll first cover what the impact was. So what impact there is for both industry and for medicine. So that's quite general. So general, quite general um, benefits for both industry and medicine. Then I'll go over to one example, one example for industry, one example for medicine. The example I gave is cobalt 60 for industry and medicine is technetium 99M. And I go over their uh, reuses, so uses, but also their properties. So how their uses and properties are connected. And in the end, I have a concluding statement. So I say, you know, is it overall a good thing that we have these radioisotopes or a bad thing? So concluding statement. And this kind of setup gets you seven marks. So I'll go over the first sentence. Radioisotopes have had a big impact on society and have significantly impacted parts of the commercial sector. So here, just, I basically just repeated whatever the first sentence was from the question. I've just mentioned they had a big impact. I haven't said yet what, but just mentioned they had a big impact. Then I wrote, the medical sector has benefited from radioisotopes that help sterilize medical equipment and treat cancer. Other radioisotopes, such as iodine-123, help detect thyroid disorders. In this case, now I've done the what is the impact for medicine, but this is still quite general. So this is generally what they do. I've mentioned examples, such as iodine-123 and cobalt-60. If you can name them, if you can just say what their uses are, what the benefits are, that's good. But if you can always give an example, that's even better. But in this case, I've just had some in my head, so just put them down. Named three or so benefits. And then I go into the actual detailed one, which is for the medical sector is Technetium-99. So that's what I do next. The radioisotope Technetium-99M is used to assess the health of organs. These are the uses. Assess the health of organs and detect blood disorders. So these are the uses, and now I'll talk about the properties. So uses plus properties for technetium-99. It has a short half-life, that's one of the properties. It produces weak gamma radiation, and it's easily excreted. These are the properties. And all these properties make it an ideal radio isotope to be used in the human body, as the body is exposed to minimal amounts of radiation. So then I've related to the properties to why it gets used, because if these properties we can use in our body because there's not much radiation that occurs. So now I've covered the medical part, and then after covering the medical part, I cover the industrial part. 
Oh, sorry. So the second part of the, of the actual um, Technetium 99. So Technetium 99 also emits highly visible photons and forms compounds in the body, both properties that allow for the production of high-quality scans, which are used to detect diseases. So these are some of the properties. So it emits visible photons and forms compounds. And these properties relate to function because it allows us to produce high-quality scans, which are used to detect disease. And that's just assessing that connecting the properties to the uses of one specific radioisotope. And now I cover the industry. So the industry has benefited from radioisotopes that have made the detection of leaks in pipes, detection of leaks in pipes a less costly procedure. Radioisotopes are also used to estimate the thickness of steel, date fossils and rocks, carbon-14 dating, and kill pathogens in food, cobalt-60. So again, these are just, again, the general uh, impact for the industry. So I mentioned earlier the general ones for the medicine, now for the industry. So such as, you know, detection of leaks making that easier, estimating the thickness of steel, fossil dating, and also I've given some examples as well, just because I had them in my head. And then we go into the specific example. So the specific example is cobalt-60, where we relate the properties to its use. It's strong. Uh, cobalt-60 is generally a very useful radioisotope to both industry and medicine for some of the above-mentioned reasons. So I mentioned a couple of reasons beforehand already. But it's also used to detect flaws in metal objects. So that's a new reason of the new use I've named here. It's strong gamma radiation, so these are the properties. It's strong gamma radiation and metallic properties enable it to produce radiation that it penetrates flawed but not normal objects. So now I've connected the properties to why it gets used to detect flawed metal objects. And if you can remember, there was also a diagram you could draw for this as well. And I would have just, for this question, I would have drawn that diagram as well just to show that how that happens. So the diagram is showing the radiation setting off the film badge if it's flawed. So we are almost done, just one more part, which is the concluding statement. For the concluding statement, I have written, there are some problems when it comes to use of radioisotopes, such as exposure to radiation and nuclear waste, these are the problems. But the benefits, which were mentioned beforehand, greatly outweigh the problem. So that was the evaluation part. So four to get seven marks, you would get marks for naming the general uses for both. So these are the general uses for medical sector, we mentioned here. The properties relating to the specific radioisotopes, we mentioned the specific radioisotopes, mentioned the uses correctly, and we also mentioned how the properties are related to uses. So that's three marks for that. Then we have the industry, has, we talk about industry now, so the general advantages for the industry were mentioned here. That's a tick. Then we can give the cobalt 60 and its general uses as well. That gets a tick. But we also be able to we also connect the general uses to its properties. That's another tick. So now we have six out of seven. And then the last point we get for correctly evaluating the potential, so that we say that it's generally useful, even though it has some problems, the benefits outweigh it. That's another tick. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's seven marks out of seven. Just to show you where this question comes from, there were two dot points that they used to make this question. Describe the way in which the above named industrial and medical radioisotopes are used and explain their uses in terms of properties. So it was the whole, you know, the, the uses and the properties. That was that dot point. But they have this dot point and they mixed it in with this dot point. Use available evidence to analyze benefits and problems associated with the use of radioactive isotopes and identify industries and medicines. So this was a whole analyze benefits and problems associated with the use of radioactive isotopes in identified industries of medicine. So I hope that was useful. But this is this kind of question, it's a really big question. So seven marks, you need to write quite a bit. You have about 15 minutes, not quite, but roughly that amount to answer that kind of question. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.